Today we're going to change guitar strings on a guitar with a Floyd Rose tremolo. And to start off with, you'll need a guitar for the Floyd Rose tremolo. You'll also need an Allen wrench, a pair of wire cutters or wire snips, a string winder, a guitar tuner, and the locking nut of a Floyd Rose tremolo near the headstock of your guitar, along with the Floyd Rose tremolo down around the bridge of your guitar. As you'll notice, there are lots of different types of guitar strings. Today I opted for the Ernie Ball coated slinky strings, and we'll use those today. To begin, you'll need to loosen the screws on the locking nut near the headstock of your guitar. This is done with your Allen wrench, shown earlier. And once those are loosened, you should go ahead and take those out and set those to the side. Next, you'll want to loosen the string that you're going to remove first by adjusting the tuner keys at the headstock of the guitar. Once you've done that, you'll need to take your Allen wrench and loosen the clamping screw that holds the string in place at the Floyd Rose tremolo. And then remove that string. You loosen the tension at the tuning keys to keep the string from popping up as dramatically. Then you just unwind the string from there and remove it from the tuning key. As I mentioned, I chose the Ernie Ball coated slinkies today. You should have six strings in your packet and they'll be individually wrapped. So we're just going to change your bottom string, which is actually on the top as you're looking at the guitar. Take the string out of the packet. Unwrap the string. And you'll need to take your wire snips and snip off the ball at the end of the string. After that, you'll insert the snip end of the string down into the saddle block, which is where you just remove the end of the old string. And then you'll need to take your Allen wrench again and tighten up the saddle clamp on the string that you've inserted into the saddle block. Then you'll run the string down the length of the neck, wrap the end of the string around the tuner key once or twice, whatever your preference, and guide it through the little hole in the tuner key. Then you begin snugging up the string, either manually or with the string winder as shown before. And then you just repeat these steps for each additional string. Six, or in some cases now they even have seven string and eight string guitars. After you've done that for all six strings, you may have what looks like a very big mess. A bunch of long ends of string, possibly six, seven inches long. These can be easily snipped off with your wire snips once the strings have been adjusted to their proper tension. Commonly, you'll end up with a lot of trash at the end of this process. Uh, the balls of your strings, the old strings, and the packets that the new strings came out of, just discard those in the trash. And once you've got your area cleaned up, just grab your guitar tuner, tune your guitar, and jam to your heart's content. I hope this string changing lesson was beneficial for you, and keep on rocking.